I'm Howard Wood. I'm co-founder of Coast, the community of Arden Seabed Trust. I'm also a co-founder, along with Coast and Fauna and Flora International, of the Scottish Coastal Communities Network, a network of communities intent on recovering their seas and making them more sustainable around the coast of Scotland. I was the recipient of the 2015 Goldman Award for, for helping bring in a no-take zone and marine protected area around Ireland. I was also honoured by Her Majesty the Queen for services to the marine environment in 2016. To me, it's the state of our seas and oceans. You cannot hope to address climate change without addressing the worldwide biodiversity loss. And to me, that means recovering our seas and oceans. For too long, we have taken them for granted. We have polluted them. We have overfished them. We are at a tipping point. The earth, our oceans, will not sustain us. More than 50% of the oxygen we breathe in our air comes from the oceans. We have to start addressing this. Our governments have poorly managed both our inshore and offshore waters for decades. We have seen regulated capture of government departments by vested interests, strong fishing lobbies. This has to change. Governments have to start managing and governing the seas, our environment, in the best interests of the public, not polluting, destructive, vested interests. Smaller scale, potentially more sustainable fishermen do not have the lobbying power and so government ignores them. So we're left, as, as we are on the west of Scotland and in the Clyde, with seas that are dredged and trawled due to a lack of fish. This dredging and trawling rapidly reduces the biodiversity. A recent report stated that in the world's oceans that were bottom trawled, the release of carbon was the equivalent to all the world's airline industries. We cannot continue to allow this to happen. Twenty-five years ago, with my colleague and friend Don McNeish, we set up a community organisation called Coast, the Community of Arnsey Bed Trust. We could see our seas declining, we could see the destruction that was happening to the seabed. 25 years later, after 13 years of a campaign with a, to get a no-take zone, and another eight to get the marine protected area that excluded scallop dredging, we are now reaping the rewards of what happens when you exclude destructive, unsustainable fishing. And it's one of the reasons why I and Coast and hundreds of other community organisations in Scotland support an inshore limit on all bottom toed gear. And if that when and if that comes into being, that will rapidly increase the chances of biodiversity and the blue carbon capture that is so vital as we move forward to save what we have. A brighter place for my granddaughter and for the future generations. But I don't need to dream. I just need to go diving in the waters behind me. My dream is already happening. But what we have to hope, but not dream, is that our politicians, our governments, now start taking note of the science, taking note of people, the communities, the next generation. 
They need to start making decisions and put those decisions into action. The first step is community action. We need to recover ecosystems around the world, whether they're terrestrial or whether they're marine. We know that this is possible. We have projects such as this. We have m loads and loads of projects all around the world. But in general, most of them lack government backing and definitely lack government funding. So the waters right behind me that have been protected for more than a decade are showing the results of what happens if you manage our seas properly. We see a four times increase in these species. Within the 250 square kilometre marine protected area, habitats and seabed sediments now store and protect 2.25 million tonnes of blue carbon. The marine protected area that came in in 2016, within four years, saw an 80% increase in species diversity. Also, seabed nursery areas, so vital for juvenile fish, are now recovering. We expect action. We have seen talk upon talk upon talk. We have seen targets signed and ignored, but we see very little action. That's what the community are looking for. They're looking for action that will help the next generation cope with climate change. We have to move away from supporting, subsidizing, funding, polluting, and destructive industries. And we have to support and fund local initiatives that are proven to, to be able to recover the environment. So in COP26, we're looking for governments to put in legally enforceable targets. I would also be looking, like many others, for governments to bring in the law of ecocide and use it. All of this is happening due to community sport on the Isle of Arden. The Isle of Arden is less than 50 miles away from Glasgow where COP26 will take place. If we can do it, you can do it too.